Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys and this stuff has been collected over the last month I'd say. Um, some of it I got online and the rest of it I just got in stores so let's get into it. So I'm just going to show you guys what I ordered from Namies.com and Namies.com they just sell different beauty brands and hair supplies and products and all that kind of stuff and they sell Lime Crime and that was the main reason why I wanted to order stuff off their website. I'll show you guys what I got from them. I also got some special effects makeup so if you don't want to see that at the end because it's kind of gross, um, you can just get past that part. So I'll go ahead and show you the pretty stuff. The first thing that I got from Lime Crime is one of their eyeshadow palettes and it comes in a little packaging like this and I thought that isn't that so cute? I haven't actually gotten a chance to use this yet, but I'm really hoping that I'll have a reason to use it soon because the colors are so pretty. And they're really pretty for spring too, so maybe I'll try to create some sort of look with this. The next thing that I got from Lime Crime are these two lipsticks. And I got the one in the color No She Didn't. And I don't really have a reason to use this right now, but I thought that it was really cool. And I would try to use it in some sort of cool tutorial. But it's just this, like, baby pink lipstick. Or pink? It's blue. <laughs> baby blue lipstick. And I'll show you guys a swatch in a second, too. But, yeah, I just thought that it was really cool. And the packaging is so pretty, too. And then the next color I got is called Poison Berry. And it just looks like this. It's a really dark purple. It kind of reminds me of Max Rebel a little bit, but that one's a bit more red, and this one's pretty much just straight up purple. But it is so pretty on, too. And then the last thing that I got from Lime Crime is one of their eyeliners. And three of my things are on back order right now from Lime Crime, so I'm just waiting for that to come in, and I'll probably end up showing you guys once it comes in. But it's just two other eyeliners and one lipstick. But I'll show you guys the eyeliner that I have with me. Blue Milk, it's just a pale blue eyeliner. And I'm really into colored eyeliner right now. So I thought that would be cool. And the other two colors I got, I think, were this deep purple and a yellow. So that'll be fun to play around with. Last three things that I got from Namies.com are for my beauty thing. And then the rest is going to be special effects. So I got these two things called or it's the Macadamia Natural Oil Hair Care line. This is the Reviving Curl Cream. And it smells pretty good. It's not bad. This is more of a styling product rather than their, like, masks and stuff. But I wanted to try their deep repair mask, so I just got this little one fluid ounce size packet just to try out. And then the last thing for beauty that I got is another Z palette because my other Z palette is completely full. So if you don't want to see the next part, then you can just skip over it because it is kind of gory but some of it's kind of just special effects stuff anyways. Before my special effects stuff that I got from namies.com I'll start with the non-gory things. I just got a Ben Nye Clown White Cream Makeup because I tend to have to use white cream makeup a lot especially around Halloween and stuff so I got one of those and then the other two things are also from Ben Nye and it is the Ben Nye Glitter Glue and the Ben Nye Liquiset, which you can just mix with different um, different products to keep it on all day. It makes it water resistant, so you can mix it with pigments and stuff to make eyeliner and all those different things. For It's really good for fantasy stuff, so those are my non-gory things. Now for the more gross parts of my special effects thing. These are called Tinsley Transfers and I've used them before on a set of a short film that I worked on and they're really really cool because they look so real but I didn't get a chance to use the wound ones. I just did the tattoo ones and they're supposed to look like old tattoos that have kind of faded and they look so real and they stay on for ever really so they're really good for extras and people who aren't really gonna be close up to the camera or anything so I got the temporary tattoo gory wood Tinsley transfers and they're so cool they all like this one is vampire bites and it has like this little cross that was burnt into it and here is the animal attack one so it has different bites and bugs and things like that and they're just really 
gory, but up close they actually look really real. Like there's so much detail in them and they're amazing. And then I got these stab wounds and shots and things like that. They're pretty gross to look at, so yeah. And then I got these stitches and staples. And then Tinsley Transfers also has the 3D ones too, so um, they're again better for extras, but these are a little bit more realistic looking because they are 3D, so there's more product to it. Um, I can like make these on my own, but I just thought if I was going to do anything for Halloween, it's kind of easy to just put this on someone and then send them on their way. <laughs> but these are the decomposing zombie flesh 3D Tinsley transfers, and they're really, really cool looking. And then you can just add like fake blood and all that other gory stuff. That's it for everything that I ordered from navies.com except for the three things that are on back order but I will show you guys whenever it comes in. So let's get on to the rest of the haul. Okay so the next place that I went to is this little boutique kind of store called Francesca's and I've never been in there before. I don't know if it's like all over America. Um, I got it when I was in America so yeah i would never seen it before but it was the cutest thing and they have the most adorable everything. The first things that I got from Francesca's is these cute little bracelets. One has skulls on it and they came together and the other one are just like little spikes and stuff and they're, I really liked it because they're pastel colors on the skulls and I just thought it was really cute for spring. And then the other thing that I got from Francesca's are these adorable earrings that are shaped like little starfish and in the middle they have these little diamonds and I just thought that they were really cute and great for summer because I like that kind of style. The last thing that I got from Francesca's is this really cute thing. I've seen it before, but it's called Pinch Provisions Mini Emergency Kit for her, and it says there are 17 beauty and personal care essentials inside it, and I thought that it would be perfect to show you guys for prom because, I mean, it's got literally everything you need in it, and it's small enough to fit inside a clutch or a purse or whatever you're bringing to prom. I'll read you guys what's inside it. So there is an adhesive bandage, double-sided tape, pain reliever, breath freshener, mending kit, dental floss, clear nail polish, hairspray, an emery board, a tampon, lip balm, clear elastic, stain remover, nail polish remover pad, deodorant, towelette, and earring backs, and a safety pin. That sounds pretty good to me. So the next place that I went to was Aeropostal, and I don't usually shop there, but my mom had a 20% off coupon for one item, I think. And the thing that I found, because pretty much everything in the store was like 50% off for whatever reason, so I got this shirt. It's super bright, but it's a little crop top, and I thought this would be really nice for summer, just going to the beach and doing whatever you want, you know? And it was originally $19.50, and I think I got it for $8, so I thought that was pretty good deal. Okay, so now for Forever 21. Yay! My favorite store ever. Um, one of these things my mom had actually bought me when she went shopping um, about a month ago, so I wasn't actually there, but I had to show you guys because it is so cute. This adorable little crop top tee with polka dots on it, I thought was too cute, and it was only $7 apparently, so I thought that would actually be the perfect thing to wear with all the high-waisted cut-off shorts that I've been making, so I was like, thank you mom, it's perfect. And then the next thing that I got was this skirt, because I am obsessed with this color. I buy everything in this color, and it was reduced to $12, and it also had this like weird mark thing on it that didn't really wipe off when I touched it and they gave me 10% off so can't beat that but it's just this really long maxi skirt and it has this I don't know if you can see but it has like the shorter thing underneath just to hide your butt because it's see-through but but <laughs> but yeah it's just a long maxi skirt and I will show you guys what this looks like on too but I just had to get it. It's so, so nice. And then the next thing that I got is this 
sleeveless floral sheer button up top with the high low hem and I just really liked how it fit. I was thinking I could wear it with some shorts or jeans or something and then just tuck in the front and let the back hang out or you could just wear it with leggings too. And then I found this purse because I really wanted another purse for going out and stuff and I just thought that this was so simple and cute and it has this little bow on the front and it just looks really classy, you know? Now the very last place that I went to when I was shopping is Bath and Body Works. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff but my mom ended up getting some soap and everything so that's why the bag is so big but I only have a couple things in here. I wanted to get one of these little car air freshener things and I saw this one and I was like I need this with the little bow. I love bows on like everything so I thought this was way too cute to pass up and then I ended up just getting the spring scented refillable thing that you just put inside. And because my room is so small, I have a couple of the big three wick candles from Bath and Body Works, but I can't keep them lit for very long because it ends up giving me a headache if I just keep it in my room because the scent just like overwhelms my room so quickly. So I like to buy the little ones now. So I just got three of them and I was so happy because now they have the little metal lids on them like they do on the bigger ones because I used to just cover them with like this plastic stuff but I was like they look like miniature ones and they're so cute so I got three of them because they were three for ten dollars and the first one that I got is called Beach Cabana and it smells like it says the air under a beach cabana is filled with fragrant sweet jasmine orange blossom and a hint of fluffy white towels and it's just a really nice clean scent so I thought that would be nice just to kind of have in the background and then I got a coconut leaves one and I actually realized that I already have a coconut leaves one but it looks different because it was from last year and I hadn't burned it for a really long time and yeah I just kind of got the mini one but it smells like coconut basically and the bottom says be transported to the tropics with this fusion of juicy tangerine papaya and jasmine that gives way to soothing coconut and vanilla notes and yeah, it kind of just smells like fruity coconut sweetness. And the last one I got is called Lilac Blossom. And basically just smells like lilac. I have a perfume from Gilly Hicks and it kind of smells exactly like this. So as soon as I smelt it, I was like, yeah, I have to get that one. And the bottom says, delightful lily of the valley blossoms and violets surround lush lilac in this springtime fragrance. Mm, it just smells so nice. Like... It just makes me want to wear the perfume. So that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe if you'd like to see more hauls let me know because like I said in one of my other videos I do go shopping quite a lot so if you want to see what I get and kind of see what's out there in the stores and what you should try out then let me know because I would be happy to film some more hauls for you guys and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!